Hey guys, it's Jordan. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video tutorial to show you how to make the slide projector effect that we used for the God is who he says he is video. If you haven't seen the video, um, you can see it um, at the Revolution Bellevue YouTube page, which is listed right here. Um, but yes, this uh, transition that we used uh, was not a pre-made thing in Final Cut. It's something that I pieced together from a couple different transitions and filters. Um, and I want to show you how I did it. Okay, so we'll start with two of the images that we used um, for this project. There's one, and uh, we'll use this guy as well. Okay, so I'm going to blow them up a little bit so they're a little bit more than full screen. Okay, now we're going to start with one of the pre-made effects. Um, if you go to the Video Transitions tab here in Effects, down to slide. There's one called the push slide. If you double click on that, you'll bring it up into the viewer. Um, the default duration is one second. It's a little bit long. We're actually going to shorten it down to just six frames and put that in there. So right now, just from the start, this is what that transition will look like. It just pushes it up. It's got that slide projector look to it, but it needs a little bit more motion. Um, so we're going to put some manual keyframing motion in here. Okay, if I put the playhead to right at the beginning of the transition, you can see that the pictures have already started to move. Um, so I'm going to back up one frame by hitting the left arrow key. Okay, right here, I'm going to keyframe this image by hitting Control K, and you'll see the wireframe is turned green. Um, that means that it's a keyframe. Um, now I'm going to back up three more frames by hitting the left arrow key one, two, three times, and I'm going to keyframe this as well. Then if I go back to that first keyframe I made and drag this down about halfway down the canvas, um, you'll see that we've added some motion. This first green dot is where it started on the first keyframe. The second green dot is the keyframe that we're on right now where it's going to end up. So uh, it looks like this. See, it pulls the image down and then the push slide transition takes this next image up. That looks good. Um, I also want to add some motion to this second image so that it will um, you know, jump up and then jump down so it looks a little more like that retro slide projector. Okay, so I'm going to keyframe this as well. Um, I'm going to add a keyframe here, move forward two frames, add another keyframe, and then uh, go forward two more keyframes, and add one more keyframe. Okay, if I go to that middle keyframe and drag it up, about half the distance that we did for the other one, it'll add a nice little upward shake um, right after the transition. So you'll see here's the first keyframe. It goes up for two and then down for two and then lands. So the whole thing together looks like this. So it's got a, a good little shake amount, like an old slide projector would. So that looks good, um, but I want to add a sound effect as well. To find this sound effect, I'm just going to go to the finder, do a command F search for just the word slide projector. I'm going to narrow the results to find just music. I um, mean, here we go. We've got a slide projector sound effect. It's actually coming from Microsoft Office. Um, it's some of the supporting media, most likely for PowerPoint or something like that. Um, but here's what it sounds like. So that sounds pretty good. So we'll drag that just straight to the timeline. Close the finder here. Now that, that sound effect was good, but it was a little slow, um, so I'm going to change the speed. You can either right click and go to change speed, or we can just do command J to change speed. Um, right now it's at 100%, we're going to speed it up to 250%. This is going to come a little quicker now. It's a good sound effect. Alright, so we'll line the beginning of this sound effect up to right where that first keyframe was. Um, where we were putting the motion on the Almighty God slide. So all of it together with the sound effect looks like this. So it looks pretty good. Um, the one thing that I have left to do is I need to add a couple of video filters. The first one is going to be uh, a mat around the edges so it'll cut off some of these edges and soften it with, a, with a, some darkness in the corners. The second one is going to be a bad film filter which will make it flicker and uh, and adjust the brightness and saturation so it looks like you're watching an old Charlie Chaplin film rather than you know something nice and new. It gives it that old old retro look. But I want to add those filters to everything at once. And so rather than add the filters just to each of these elements, 
I'm actually going to select all of them and make them a nest first. Um, now once I've selected everything in the video one slot here, um, I'm going to hit Alt Option C to make a nest. We're going to name this nest uh, Tutorial Nest. When I do that, you'll see that it's turned purple and it's all one unit here, Tutorial Nest. Now any filter I add to this is going to affect all of it at once. So I've got two uh, filters I'm going to use. Um, the first one is um, going to be an 8-point garbage mat. If you go into the mat folder, you can find that in an 8-point garbage mat here. I'm going to drag that right on top of this all at once. You'll see those numbers started showing up. Um, and those are the points of the mat, so we get we can drag those around to cut off some of those corners. So if I right-click on the nest and say Open in Viewer, go to Filters, I can see I can see where this is at. If I click one of these, I can drag that corner down. You can see wherever the mat is not, um, it's going to cut off and just be black. Um, so I'm going to drag this, just bringing those corners in a little bit. Um, the top, bottom, and sides, I won't adjust much at all. I mainly just want to bring those corners in. Okay, so once I have those in place, I will adjust the smoothness to kind of make it so those edges aren't quite as sharp looking. See, as I bring the smoothness up, if I crank this all the way here, it's going to completely round it off. Um, and if I leave it at zero, it's going to be a really sharp edge. So I just want to take it to maybe, maybe five. Um, the rest of the smoothness, I'll take it up to 10. The rest of the smoothness is actually going to come from the feathering, which gives it that, that glow effect. You see, as I bring that up, it's bringing um, sort of a slow fade to the darkness rather than having it um, all come in at once. I'm going I'm to bring the feathering quite a bit up, maybe about 60. So you'll see it's really nice and, and soft on the edges here um, for that mask. The last thing I need to do is add the bad film effect, which is going to have the flickering and the saturation and brightness adjustment to make it look like an old, an old movie. That's going to be found in the Video Filters um, tab and under the Stylize folder. There's one here called Bad Film. You can make any adjustments here. Um, I don't want a whole lot of brightness variance. I'd rather have some more saturation variance. I'm going to bring the brightness, the brightness uh, and the brightness variance down. Uh, but I'm going to bring up the saturation variance. Now we have uh, quite a bit of, of color play there. I'm going to drag that right on top of there. I can see already, before I even render this, it's going to be a little bit too dark. So bring the brightness up. So that will brighten it up a little bit. All right, now, after this is rendered, we'll take a look at it. All right, so if we take a look at this, this is what our final product will look like. All right, and then any adjustments that you want to make to... Um, that video filter you can make in the viewer window here if you wanted to adjust the focus or anything like that. But there you go, you have your slide projector custom made um, video effect. Um, if you have any questions about this, uh, go ahead and comment on this video or send me an email and I'd love to help you out.